Okay, my name is Rashonda Harris. Me and my family have got rescued yesterday from the helicopter. And we at the George R. Brown Convention Center downtown, at the downtown Houston. And you were telling me you all went up on the roof of your house in East Houston yes. yesterday because the floodwaters were rising. Yes. There were about 50 of you there. Yes. What, what did you see as you were leaving? As we was leaving, like everything is like underwater. Like the houses that's behind our apartment complex is underwater. While prior to getting on the roof, it was like bodies floating in the water, people who life just couldn't be saved. And you said you thought it was a, a family, people from your complex. Yes. There were how many? There were kids. It was three kids and two adults. And you said your your daughter, your family was seeing that too. Yes. What, what did you tell her? I really just couldn't explain. I was just crying. I couldn't explain. What has this experience been like for your family? How are they doing in the in the convention center inside? Emotionally and physically, we're doing fine, but mentally, we're not. Yeah. You said you had to leave your purse, your phone, all yeah, your belongings everything back is, the, on the roof? Yes, on the roof at my apartment complex, yes. But you're staying in touch with family. You said that yes. relatives might come pick you up. How, how are you staying in touch? Uh, my daughter has her phone. My wife has her phone. My other daughter has her phone. My son got his. It's just they didn't know my phone was left behind. And what about the other people you've met? We've heard there's 9,000 people here at the convention center. We've been seeing people walking by, coming in, yeah. standing outside um, here downtown. Uh, how are people doing? Is it Are there shortages of supplies? Do they need things? I know they do need more clothes. As far as the baby, baby items, it's, it's more than enough baby items. Because your daughter, you have a two-month-old grandchild. Yes. And he's doing okay. Yes, he's, he's doing got fine. Formula. Yes, he got formula diapers. He's the clothes. He's doing fine. And none of none of you all were injured as you were leaving. No. You're all okay. Yes, we're all okay. Mm -hmm. So do you? You were saying earlier you think they might start having shortages though if they don't get more yes food more food, more cups, more water, you know, more supplies because they're running out. They're running out, and more clothes, shoes. They're running out. <laughs> And what do you think we're going to see as the as the water recedes? I know you were talking about the the neighbors of yours who passed away who were in the yeah. water. Yeah. Might, we might be seeing more bodies. This, you know, once the water recedes, it's going to be more bodies in that water. It's going to be people trapped in their cars and who couldn't get out. That was on the freeway. It's, it's, it's going to be devastating. It really is.